These are the conditions affecting the rate of transpiration. There's air humidity. If the air is very dry, transpiration will speed up because there will be a lower concentration of water vapor outside the leaf. Diffusion of water vapor from inside the leaf to the outside of the leaf will be much faster than normal. This is the opposite. If there is a high humidity in the air, the rate of transpiration is slowed down. So, on rainy days, when the air is very humid, the rate of transpiration will be lower. On dry days, or in very dry climates like the desert, transpiration rate will be very high. Speaking of which, temperatures. If there is a high temperature, the rate of evaporation would be higher. The rate of transpiration would also be higher. So this is quite straightforward. This is to show that transpiration rate is practically tied to evaporation rate. Whatever affects the rate of evaporation would affect the rate of transpiration as well. So likewise, we have air movement. If there is a lot of air movement, if it is a windy day, it would make water evaporate faster because it would take the water vapor away from the leaf faster. On the other hand, if the air is very still, if there is no air movement, transpiration rate would be very low. And lastly, unique to plants, if there is bright light, transpiration rate will be sped up. If there is dim light or if there is no light, transpiration rate is slowed down. So why does this happen? This is due to photosynthesis only occurring in light. When a plant photosynthesizes, the stomata of the leaves open and therefore allow transpiration to occur. This is why transpiration rates are highest during the day. Because during the day, there's light, the plants are uh, photosynthesizing and the stomata are open. During the night, when it is dark or there is very dim lighting, photosynthetic rates are low. The stomata of the leaves are closed and therefore water vapor cannot move out of the leaf. Transpiration rate is low.